LeBron's wife gets hit on by two of LeBron's former teammates. LeBron might not want to let his wife go anywhere alone ever again. Hi everyone, thanks for hanging out with us here at The Fumble. I'm your host, Jessica Wills. You can follow me on Instagram at JessRenee22. And to stay in the know about all your favorite sports teams and athletes, don't forget to click that subscribe button so you never miss a Fumble update. On a trip from LA to Cleveland, Savannah James was sitting on the plane in the third row, already settled in her seat while everyone was still boarding. Savannah was minding her own business and that's when two guys started laying it on thick to her. Yo, Tay, Tay, who's that chick in the front row right there? She on the back, she, ooh, she cute? She cute, what's her name, Tay? Okay, so Savannah gets a chuckle when she sees the guys in the video are LeBron's former Cavs teammates, Richard Jefferson and Dante Jones just playing a joke on her. Where I know she got so much swag, everything. Where I know she got so Where much swag. <laughs> so everybody settle down. LeBron isn't going to have to take anybody out this time. It was just a joke. He is saving that for the court because LeBron James just surpassed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for the most field goals made in NBA playoff history. Here is the play that put him at the top spot. Add another notch on LeBron's unbelievable resume, heading into Game 4 of the Eastern Conference Finals against Boston, LeBron only needed six made field goals to get to the top spot of that list, and he solidified that top spot in the first half. Which brings me to my fumble question of the day, does this solidify LeBron as the GOAT? With every accolade, it definitely makes it harder to keep arguing against him. Let me know what you think in the comments below. With LeBron sitting at the top spot of field goals made during the playoffs, he surpasses Michael Jordan, who is third on the list, and Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant, who round out the top five. Pretty impressive list to be sitting at the top of. The Cavs even the series against the Celtics and are now tied at 2-2, heading into game five of the Eastern Conference Finals on Wednesday. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us here at The Fumble. I'm Jessica Wills. Be sure you like, subscribe, and comment before you go, and we'll see you next time.